it's been a while since I've done a gadgets video for you guys. So this is it. I have five new items on that van life gadgets list. First up is this Lark water bottle. This is stainless steel and it has a dual function of not only carrying your water but sanitizing it. It has a UV light that you switch on with this button and you see the little ring light up and in 30 seconds it sanitizes your water. I've looked for quite some time for a water bottle that served a dual purpose and that had some type of a sanitizer in it. It's useful for me when I am backpacking and may come across a water source, a spigot or a, a water fountain, and I am not sure about the water. I can just fill my water bottle and then sanitize it and know that it's gonna be good to drink regardless of what the source may be. I don't think I would necessarily use it in a river or a stream or something like that, but in a desperate situation, I think that if you had a clear uh, running stream water source and you used it to fill up this water bottle, then you could safely drink it. So I love this. I am not sponsored by any of these products. You guys know that, that I like to buy them and then I use them for a while and I tell you my honest review. This one has a USB cord that comes with it and a USB charging port is up right here. This is where you would charge it. That's on the lid portion of it. This is where the light is that does the sanitizing. And then this is something extra that I bought, you have to buy it extra, but it then will protect the USB port here and also has a carabiner on it that you can use then to clip onto your backpack or your belt or something like that. And it's nice because it's, uh, it's rubbery and very solid and it fits very snugly. In fact, it's a little bit hard to get on, but once you get it on, then it just slides right down and it covers everything and fits snugly. You won't lose it. Uh, so I went ahead and I bought this with it. So that, my friends, is my water bottle. Uh, I have not had a water bottle and I have waited and waited to buy the right one for me. And this is it. Next up is this Peak Waist Backpack. What I love about it is that if I'm going on a hike and I just want to carry a few items and not have a full-blown backpack on, this carries quite a bit. It can carry my iPhone. This has a headlamp in it. If you want a few little survivor items in there, just in case. It also has this mesh area back here where you could have your keys or a credit card or something like that. And then see this zipper here, this folds down like so, and guess what you can carry in it? You can put your water bottle in it sideways like this and it distributes the weight evenly. And then if you're not going to use that for a water bottle, you just zip it up and if you really wanted to, you could maybe put sunglasses or glasses in here just on the side and be able to get them out that way. And this is very comfortable around the waist. And you can see it has these little rubber things here and they just make it kind of nice and soft and it has an adjustable belt. I like it. Next is this beauty here. This is a bamboo cutting board with drawers. 
I had another one that was a little thinner and a little longer and had a plastic slide out drawer that actually I still have that and use it as a tray. This is the other one. It used to be about this size and this was the tray for it. I accidentally, when I was transporting one time, dropped it and it fell onto some, I don't know, asphalt or something and broke, this part of it broke. And I was devastated because I love that thing. And I searched for the same one again and I didn't have it. So I found this one, which is very comparable. The difference is that it has two sides. So it has these metal drawers on it. And usually this is for if you're cutting and you want to put the waste into something, you would just kind of open this and then push it to the side and then you could have it to throw away or you could put the items that you cut up into them and then you'd have it that way. I don't uh, regularly use the other one which goes into this side because when I'm going down the road and I stop, guess what happens? <laughs> so this one stays in place. I have just some extra utensils in it and I store that there all the time. The thing about this one that is different than my other one is that it has these little rubber feet on them. So this does not slide around. My other one did. And so I can keep this here and it won't budge. So that is a nice little addition to what I had. But I do enjoy this because I can put my stove top here and not feel like I'm hurting my countertop. I can cut things. I can move this around if I need to. I can use it as a serving tray. I could use these things as serving trays or whatever I need. And so I just really, I love the look of it. Uh, very solid, very easy to clean. And you can't go wrong with something that serves multiple purposes for your van life. The last thing on my official list are these. These are new C LED night lights. They are motion sensor and magnetic. You know how I love magnetic things. I had the need for some new lights that could basically go anywhere. They are USB rechargeable and they come with five in a pack. And I like it because they can stick anywhere and they have a very strong magnet. So I can put them outside when I am at a spot and I'm not sure if there are either animals that might approach the van or when I'm at a campfire and I need to find my way back. As I get close to my van, it'll turn on, light my way, let me get in the door and then go out. So this is really helpful. Uh, also for little critters underneath your hood and things like that. It'll stick to anything that is steel. So I really like these. The one thing that I haven't figured out and I'm not sure they don't really have a switch <laughs> um, so I store them in their box with the lights down so that they don't turn on but then when it gets dark so I don't even know if you'll be able to see it because it's not dark I'll, I'll have a demonstration in the dark so you can see what that's like but basically underneath here I have two that I've put back in here you see the other one back there and when it is evening time, every time I slide open this drawer, they pop on so that I can see what's in here. And I really like that. And so even though I don't know how to switch them on and off, they came and they worked. I haven't had to recharge them yet, but if I do, they have several of these in there so that you can recharge them. And then I've just been putting this box back here. So when I need to change them out, I can. And they fit in there like that. And if you have stayed around this long, you get the extra items and my fun little hack for them. So drum roll please. My new hiking boots. So these are my zero shoes new hiking boot. 
What I love about Zero Shoes, the brand, is that they are very flexible and light. They are called Zero because they do not have any lift to them. The tread is very grabby, <laughs> which I like. They can get wet and you will be dry. And that happens because the tongue is actually sewn here all the way up to right here. And so you can basically get your foot totally immersed in water and stay dry right to there. And that is nice when you're crossing rivers and rocks and things like that. And they are breathable, they dry very quickly. And I am one that loves to walk barefoot. You may have seen in other videos that I have I think they're actually zero shoes, if not they're barefoot, one of the other brands that look basically like you're wearing a sock. It's a fortified river shoe, really, where it's like a sock on the top and then it just has a rubber sole. And I prefer to hike in something like that because my foot never seems to get tired. And so I have waited and waited and waited to find a shoe that I love for hiking and this is it because it even though it is more sturdy than my <laughs> ones that I wear around that are socks uh, these are still lightweight and your foot still can splay inside of them which, which is what I love a lot uh, because my feet are used to being barefoot so they're they're wider and they are used to splaying and grabbing like that. So these have a little more uh, fortitude on them in the, ba the bottom here. So you are going to feel like you have a sturdy shoe on, but they're so lightweight and they just don't tire out my feet that way. Uh, it's a really interesting thing. I don't understand it, but these I can walk again. I can walk for a long, long time without getting tired. Right away when I got them, I felt like I have been wearing them forever. So that is a good sign of a good hiking shoe. And the other thing that I usually really don't like about hiking shoes is a lot of them are tie strings. And so are these, but this comes to my little hack that I have found out. And this can be used on any shoe. I am surprised that it took me so long to figure this one out. Uh, I'm, yeah, maybe just a little slow there on the update, but I figured this out and I am gonna do it with every shoe that I have. These are called Up You Go, and they were available on Amazon, and they are basically no tie shoelaces. Now these are the shoelaces that the zero shoes came with they're just regular shoelaces but then i ordered this and they came in a package of two so this is what these look like so these are striped this these little white things i guess are reflective i just put the plain black ones in these are the ties and they just look like shoelaces but they're stretchy and then it comes with this little kit and you basically would Lace up your shoe as you normally would because this is just like a regular shoelace. So you just lace it up. And well, in fact, I should, well, I can't do it for you because these are already in. Once you have them all measured to your liking and you have them set with putting this little, the little stopper. So this allows you to tighten and loosen the laces. And then there's this little cap on the end you can take the cap off they give you this little screwdriver by just lifting it there and uh, then you can adjust them if you need to or change them out so when you are threading this you want to squeeze this button down and see how that little thing lowers there you want to make sure the laces get through that so that when they do go through you press it to loosen it and then when you let it go it stays in place so you can't move this so that's how the shoes tighten once you lace them up then when you get them to the length that you need for your shoe you cut it to that length so you then take this little thing you 
fold it over and the ends that you cut you slip through here and they won't have this part on it anymore and that's why it's necessary to have this because then you shut that on it and it snaps and then that keeps the ends from fraying and it keeps them very nicely. So you wanna make sure that you measure them to the correct length. I actually think that I could cut these a little bit shorter, but I just wanted to make sure that in case I made a mistake, I made them a little longer. One of my fears was that I wouldn't be able to do it because it has these here, but I just, I put them on and then I just lace these around my foot like normal. So then I do it again. I loop that second loop on and then I pull it to tighten it up and that will stay. And then this, I just tuck down under here and it stays. So I never have to worry about my shoe coming untied or anything like that. I can't believe it took me so long to think of this and find this. And you can use them on any kind of tie shoe. They've got them in different colors and so you can make your shoes fun if you wanted to. But I just got the basic black and then the black and white reflective if I choose to do that. But that is my little hack and I hope that that serves you well because it was a game changer for me. I can't believe it took me so long to think of it. So that's that. So I hope you enjoyed this gadgets video. I love doing them. You know that I wouldn't recommend them if I didn't love every single one of those items on the list. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. You just wanna make sure that you uh, do not drive away with them on your vehicle. That is how I lost my other lights, my Aotech that I really like. Uh, so, <laughs> um, yeah, don't forget to take it off of your van from the outside before you go down the highway.